There's no doubt that Hornady has led the industry in new cartridge introductions over the last decade. As a custom rifle builder that uses factory ammunition to test all of our rifles, we're keenly interested in what new cartridges are coming out and specifically how they're going to perform in our rifles for our customers. Hornady was kind enough to let us in early on the development and testing of the new 7mm PRC. We have already built and tested several rifles in this new cartridge. All we can say is wow. Not since the introduction of the 6.5 Creedmoor have we seen such a game-changing cartridge introduction. The 7mm PRC uses a standard magnum bolt face and has a standard overall length. Therefore, it fits in a standard magnum length magazine box. This means we can easily rebarrel existing bolt action rifles in most magnum calibers to the new 7 PRC. Recoil falls between a 30-06 and a 300 wind mag and is very manageable without muzzle brakes or suppressors. We're going to show you actual range testing results for the 7mm PRC using rifles with 24 inch, 22 inch, and 20 inch barrel lengths. We tested all three rifles at long range hunting and tactical distances on a variety of targets. We will show velocity, energy, and drop for all three barrel lengths at each distance. These are our test rifles. A Hill Country Carbon Rifleman with 20 inch Proof Research 1 and 8 twist carbon fiber barrel. A Carbon Rifleman with 22 inch Proof Research 8 twist carbon fiber barrel. And our Hill Country Long Range Hunter with a 24 inch Lilja 8 twist number 4 contour barrel. All rifles will be shot with factory Hornady 175 grain ELDX ammunition. All right, long range hunter, 24 inch barrel, 300 yards, elevation 0.9, wind is 0.3. Shooter ready. Send it. Perfect. Wind 0.3. Nice. Left target frame, middle target. Elevation 3.5, windage 1.5. 1 1.5, 1 Jack. Shooter ready? Send it. Swing and play. <laughs> oh, you can. There we go. Nice. Three hundred yards from each yet. All right, that's our three hundred yard set. We'll set up for the. What are we doing next? Five. Uh, yeah, five is yellow. Got it. Send it. Send one more. Nice. It's a 20 inch gun, 500. 
All right. All right, what are we shooting? 24 inch long range hunter. 800 yards. All right, you've got uh, 4.6. 4.6. And 1.5 on wind. 1.5 on wind. Shooter ready? Send it. Mill wind calls, right? <laughs> Six. Give me seven minutes. One more. No. Oh! Yeah, the second one was high. Yeah, it was. It was there. Your your last shot was just over the edge. I mean, it was just over that last shot. Twenty inch carbon rifleman. Thousand yards. We got 7.4 mils, and what do you want to do? You want to do three mils of wind? Three mils of wind. All right. Shoot it ready. Send it. Nice. All right. Same wind. Send it. Bullseye. One more. Nice. Really well done. I'd say that is a three mil wind. That is a three mil wind. For now. All right, cool. In summary, what the 7 PRC does uniquely well is hold on to velocity and energy even out of the shorter barrel lengths. As suppressors become more and more popular, or you just want a really handy rifle, when you look at the data from the 20 inch barrel length as compared to the 22 and the 24, all of them have plenty of energy. Um, even at 800 yards, the 20 inch barrel held up extremely well. And I don't know of another Magnum cartridge offering currently that does this as well as the seven millimeter PRC.